Hey folks, 1881MF, we're on the Life Buzzin channel. Happy New Year's, it's New Year's Eve 2013. Woo! Woo! It's been a good year. So, we've, uh, we've been messing with aluminum lately, melting aluminum, and everyone wants to know what I'm going to do with it. Well, I'm going to cast it into many different things. So, to do that, to cast aluminum, we need what's called green sand. It's basically, you know, a small recipe of a couple really fine items that you mix together and it packs really firm and then you can pour your hot molten liquid in it and it's kind of as your little uh, your dye so to speak. So here's a real quick easy recipe how to do it. I'm going to do it on a small scale just for tests for giggles and and to do that we're going to need just a couple things. First thing we're going to need is bentonite clay. This is what the ladies use when they put that mud on their face to make them purty and actually I bought this from a mm. place that that's why they're selling it. So bentonite clay is really 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 fine stuff. We're going to need, uh, let's see, I got my recipe here somewhere. Here we go. So, here's the bentonite clay. And as you can see, look at that. It's very fine. Mm. So, for this recipe of bentonite, we're going to use one and a half pounds. And then you're going to need silica sand, which this is. Um, silica sand, we're going to use 12 and a half pounds of that to the one and a half pounds of the bentonite. Silica sand is the stuff that you get in your toothpaste and all that. I actually ordered this from walmart.com, believe it or not, free shipping. They sent me 50 pounds and it's for cigarette ashtrays or some crap like that, so. We're certainly not using any of that. No, no, this is perfect. So we're gonna use that. And then you're gonna need a very, very little bit of water. I'm talking about two tablespoons of water for this batch. I put it in a spray bottle, it helps for some even spraying. Um, when it is done and you do it right, instead of using water, you would use uh, two cycle motor oil, synthetic two cycle, cycle motor oil. Motor what oil. is it? It's motor oil. <laughs> and instead of the water. Motor and oil. that makes for better green sand. Get it? Green. Oh. Green sand with water, it's not green. So uh, <coughs> stay tuned for the first step. Okay, now we're gonna mix it. Uh, we're not mixing very much, but I'm gonna use this big container right here so I can spread it out because the more you can spread it out, the easier it is to mix. Because like I said earlier, you don't use very much water. If you have too much water, you're gonna end up having problems later. So, um, I'm gonna, oh yeah. Did I say Happy New Year? Happy New Year. It's gonna oh, be a new hot. year. Hot coffee in the okay, new year. so, step one. And a half pounds of silica sand. This is very fine, so don't go pouring it too fast because it'll all blow away. Twelve and a half pounds of that, and then one and a half pounds. Cool. And then spread this out. Sand art. It's very cold. And this is so fine. This is going to help hold the moisture right into your sand. So I'm just going to take a minute and I'm going to mix this until it's good and mixed. And then we'll come back. So I've mixed everything really, really, really good. You're so you can't tell the difference. So you want to mix your dry ingredients before you add the wet. And then I'm just going to just evenly spray it. Once again, for this size order, order, <laughs> for this size batch, I'm only going to use two tablespoons of water. So... How are you measuring that? I'm counting all the little sprays. Oh. I'm going to start with that and then mix that up real good. And you know, you ultimately want it to be like mashed potatoes. Actually, probably not. That's you a need lie. lots more milk. <laughs> no, that's for a different recipe. Sorry. You you want it to be to where when you squeeze it, it holds its form, and no more wet than that. So I'm gonna mix all this in real good, and then I'll keep adding a little bit of water at a time.
Well, we've sprayed this probably five times. So maybe a little more than two tablespoons, <laughs> but Debbie seems to think it's a lot more than that, but I don't think it is. You really don't want to use too much water to just go a little bit at a time. And oh. you want to be able to I'm squeeze a big dog. dirt clump out of it to make it bright. So if I take a handful of that and squeeze it. Look at that. Nice. It still falls apart. So we're close. We're going to do maybe one more spraying. That's real close. That's real close. Green sand. Well, I think we got it. I think it's mixed. We've probably been working this for 15 minutes, maybe. Hanging out. So, big squeeze. Look at that. I think we're ready. I think we're ready, folks. That's exactly what you want, right like that. So, there you go, green sand. What do you think? Does it help you? But give me a thumbs up if you don't care. Subscribe to me. Share the video. Try Looks to like make little it. grenades. Sorry. Everything's about bombs and guns, huh? <laughs> you know. Or dogs. Or dogs. I think that's pretty good. I think we're I think that's good folks. So I'll, I'll pour some aluminum and we'll put that put that on a different video and test this out. So anyways, thank you. I appreciate it. 1881 MF on the Life Buzz channel. Take care now.